Pastor Robert Morris's deception and lies continues to play out, not only for him, but for the Gateway Church family and specifically his son and daughter-in-law. And in this video, I want to talk specifically about the repercussions and the consequences that not only the person who commits a crime, but continues to lie and deceive his church flock, the consequences that he specifically has, but the consequences of the immediate family. Robert Morrison's son, Exus Gateway Church, Max Lucado to serve as teaching pastor. Best-selling Christian author Max Lucado will join Gateway Church as a teaching pastor while James Morris, the son of the church's embattled founder, Robert Morris, stepped down. Only weeks after he succeeded his father at the helm of the church in June, amid a child essay scandal. Staff at the South Lake Texas Church were told that James Morris and his wife, Bridget, stepped down. CBS News reported the church elders met with pastors James and Bridget and they collectively made the decision that pastors James and Bridget would both step down from their current positions and from leading Gateway Church in the future, the church said in a statement. Gateway elders said they sought the advice of many well-respected pastors and minister leaders about the decision to cut ties with the Morrises while noting they are confident they will serve as senior leaders of a church in the future. We as elders affirm and believe that God has placed a desire in both pastors James and Bridget's hearts to serve as senior pastors of a church at some point in the future, the elders said in their statement. We love pastors James and Bridget and their children. We deeply care about them and sincerely thank them for investing their lives here at Gateway Church. They have faithfully and honorably served our, our congregation and this community through all the years that they have been part of Gateway Church. Now, in addition to Locato, who has served as teaching pastor at Oak Hills Church in San Antonio, joining the staff at Gateway Church, the elder said Pastor Joe Kim Lundquist from Sweden will assume a more pastoral role with staff. Lundquist has spoken frequently at the church. The elders promised to share more updates with the church this weekend in a statement on the church's Facebook page. Lucado's, Lucado's new role at Gateway Church comes as he disclosed in his recent book, God never gives up on you. His past struggles with alcohol to manage stress as his ministry grew and coped with a world gone crazy. He said he confessed to church elders whom he said designed a plan to help him cope with demands. I've said in a few of my videos relating to Robert Morris, his scandal, and Gateway Church that the scandal, the lies, the dishonesty does not only affect the person who's telling these lies, it affects his family, friends, and loved ones. Now, because of all of this stuff that has gone down with former Pastor Robert Morris and him lying about the crime that he committed against Cindy Clemenshire when she was 12 years old. All of those lies and deception 
and half truths have trickled down to his son and daughter in law. His son James has not done nothing wrong. His daughter in law Bridget has done nothing wrong. But because of the consequences of the father, their suffering, they step down as pastors of Gateway Church. And unfortunately, the consequences that former Robert Morris, the pastor at Gateway Church, has and is having currently is going to trickle down to more staff members being let go, to more truth that is being exposed. You can run, but you can't hide. So it, it's shameful that it's come to this. It's shameful that his son, Josh, is reaping some of the consequences. But when there's lies, when there's deception, you know, over several decades, these things are bound to happen. So with that being said, let me know what you think of these latest events, the cause and effect, the consequences of Robert Morris's sins and his lying. What do you think about this? Do you think Gateway as a whole will eventually succumb to the lies and the deception and more things will come out that the elders have been withholding from the public. What do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below. As always, let's all strive to remain set apart. Thank you for your continued support. God bless you. Take care.